Hey crochet lovers, how are you? Today we'll learn how to crochet these beautiful gloves. We're getting ready for winter. We'll make these gloves only using single crochet, so you'll see that it's super easy to make them. The list with all materials is down on the description box. And you can find everything as a DIY kit in my new Etsy shop, Media Luna Yarns, where you can choose between many colors of yarn and also many designs of buttons. We will start our glove with the cuff in back and forward rows and then we'll grow in spiral rows. Let's start! We start the cuff with a slip knot and then we'll make 9 chains for all sizes. Now we will go back by making single crochet. We start from the second chain from hook and we continue making single crochet until getting to the other side. We must have 8 single crochet here. For the next rows of the cuff, from now on, we're going to start with one chain, we turn our project and we will identify the back loop of each of the stitches. We have one loop looking toward us and another loop looking back, so we will work only on the loops of the back. And we continue to the other side making one single crochet for every back loop available. Okay, this would be the last one. To see if we did it right, we can count them. We must have eight single crochet each time when we end a row. And those instructions apply for the following rows. So for the size S, we will make 25 rows total. For the size M, 27 rows and for the size L, 29 rows. If we want to make bigger sizes, for example for men, we just have to make more rows until the cuff uh, close on our wrist. So here I have my 25 rows, I'm making an S size, and now we're going to close the cuff. We'll make one chain, we'll join both extremes, and now we will join these with a slip stitch. We insert the hook on the first available stitch, then on the first chain on the other extreme, and here we will make a slip stitch. And we keep connecting this part of the cuff like this. Okay, I'm making my last slip stitch here and we have joined our cuff, it is ready, so we will twist the cuff so that we don't see the sewing part and we will start with the body of the glove with the hand, so we are going to make one chain and one single crochet on each one of the streams of the rows. So I'll give you a trick, the odd lines finish with a hole and the even lines finish similar to a stitch. So we'll work first in the whole single crochet and then on the even row we can insert the hook here, then whole, then even row and so on until we finish this round. So for the size S, since we had 25 rows, we must have 25 stitches, for the size M, 27 stitches, and for the size L, 29 stitches. And now I will bring the marker to spot the last stitch of each row. Here we won't close the rows, we will grow in spiral, so the marker will be very helpful. Okay, so I mark my last stitch, and now we will make the second row which is one single crochet on every available stitch. Very easy. Okay, I'm finishing this round. It's always important to work on the same spot where the marker is. And then we will change our marker to mark the last stitch of this new row. And just like this second row, we will make two more. We must have 
four rows of single crochet total. Okay, I finished those four rows for the body of our glove and here we will start making an opening for the thumb. For this we will alternate one row with increase, one row without increase. So for the rows with increase I will give you a number that will be like a magic number for each size. So for the S size 11 single crochet, for the M size 12 single crochet, for the L size 13 single crochet and for bigger sizes we will use this equation. So to the number of stitches we have in our hand we will subtract 3 and this result that must be an even one we will divide it by 2. This will give us our magic number. I will start with my magic number which is 11. You, each one of you will make yours and now I will make one increase which is two single crochet on the same stitch, on the same hole. After that we will make one single crochet for all sizes. Just one and again one increase. And after that second increase I will do again my magic number and like that I will finish this row. Remember we also work on the stitch of the marker. Now we change the marker to the new row and we'll make a row with no increases. Simply one single crochet on every stitch available. Okay, I finished that no increase row and now I'm ready to make another row with increase. For this one I will do again my magic number in my case 11 and after our magic number we will make one increase. After the increase we will make three single crochet, three for all sizes and then again one increase after those three single crochet. Okay, after that second increase I will do again my magic number and like that I will finish this row with increase. So as you can see those increases are forming like this tip where the thumb will be. So we will continue alternating no increase and increase rows. It's the same procedure. The only difference is the amount of stitches between increase and increase. So in the row we just did there were three stitches between increases. So in the next there will be five, in the next there will be seven and so on. Here I will leave you the instructions for the next rows. And if we are making for bigger sizes we simply have to keep making rows with increases, making more stitches between increases, okay? Until we achieve the right height for the thumb opening. So I finished the instructions for my size and now I will continue making the rest of the hand. So here we will make the next number of stitches for each size and after that number we will make two chains, we will turn our glove and we will insert the hook in the stitch on the other side. Here I make one single crochet and then we go to the other side until getting to the marker making single crochet. Great, so we have done that first row of the rest of the hand. We have our hole for the thumb and now we will continue working like this until our hand measures the following for each size. In the second row when we get to the part of the two chains from the first row we must work one stitch on every chain. This is how it looks and the rest is just to keep going up in spiral until getting the height for our hand. So I'll see you later! Okay, we keep going up until getting the height we need 
So we will stop working right on this string because the first finger that we will make is the little finger. We will divide this section by four. So I recommend you to put your hand on top of the glove. And well, this is the measure for the first finger. You can place a marker if you want. And let's start our pinky making one single crochet on each stitch until getting to the marker. Now we make two chains, make them loose, we turn the glove and we will insert the hook on the equal spot but of the other side, over here. We continue making single crochet on every stitch available and we grow in the spiral forming our little finger. There is no beginning or ending here. We just work single crochet in spiral until we get to these sizes. If we want a glove with half of the fingers, we can stop whenever we want. When we reach the height that I told you before, which is like two rows before finishing our actual finger, we will start making decreases to close the finger. So, I will skip one single crochet and in the next one, I will make one single crochet. Again, we skip one stitch and in the next, one single crochet. And we will keep working like this. This will close quickly. And when we see that it's hard to continue, we just go through the opposite side with the hook and we make one slip stitch to close and it's done. Our first finger is ready. Now we will make the ring finger that is the same procedure as for the middle finger. So we mark our ring finger we leave the space for the others, remember? And we are going to insert the hook on the second chain right here on this part. We bring the yarn back, yarn over, and we make one chain to set it here. Okay, we are ready to start our ring finger and we will do two single crochet together using the first chain and the stitch where the little finger comes out. Let's see it to make it clearer. So we insert a hook on the first chain here. Okay, this would be my first single crochet, but I don't do anything with these loops. And we continue. Let me show you. This is the last stitch where we work our little finger. And there we will insert the hook to make this decrease. Okay, so here we should have three loops on the hook. We'll go through all of them together. And now we make one single crochet on every stitch of the base until getting to the marker. Now we make two chains. We go to the back of the glove. We insert the hook on the equal spot of this side and we make one single crochet to continue until meeting my little finger. And here we will make two single crochet together, but backwards. So first we will insert the hook on the last stitch of the base of the pinky And then in the second chain, okay, now I have three loops on my hook. We go through all of them together. We will tighten this stitch to make a nice joining. And then we continue making one single crochet on every available stitch, just like we did for the other finger. 
So we grow in spirals until our finger reaches this height for each size. So when we get to that height, we will start closing as we did with the other finger. Okay, we have two fingers now. Remember that the middle finger has the same instructions. We grow until our middle finger measures the following for each size. And when we reach that height, we close skipping stitches, just like we did with the other two fingers. So the index and thumb start the same exact way as the other fingers, but since both are in the corner, we won't make the two chains as bridge. We just make one single crochet until connecting with the other side. I will start the thumb exactly the same way. Here we've done two rows for the thumb before starting the third row of the thumb. I will skip one stitch, just one, and we keep growing in spiral, okay? Making one stitch in each available stitch. So when we get to that height, we will close skipping stitches like we did before. Okay, our five fingers are ready. Now we can hide all those threads with a yarn needle. And finally, we can join the button we do the same instructions for the other glove and they're ready to be worn. And this is it, crochet lovers. I hope you've liked this tutorial and I hope that you make beautiful gloves. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time on our next tutorial. Bye!